everyone. This is ICO Talk. My name is Anastasia, and today my guest is Tanchi Ming, the Chief Executive Officer of Block Cloud. Hello, Tanchi. Thank you for joining us today. Hi. Thank you for the meeting, and uh, thank you for everyone's watching. Thank you. Thank you. Well, the first question is, could you tell us a little bit about your project? What's the story about it, and what challenges does it resolve <laughs> on the market? Block Cloud is a advanced, uh, it's a blockchain-based advanced TCP IP that provides constant connectivity for dynamic networks. So uh, Block Cloud is a very underlying pro- protocol in the internet stack that makes the internet better. So we are not a uh, blockchain solution, we are actually a internet uh, technology solution that makes the internet better. And this is what Block Cloud is doing. Wow! And what's the role of blockchain in the project? Uh, because the currently the underlying uh, protocols of the internet is lack of uh, the trust uh, mechanism and the incentive mechanism. So we are using blockchain to uh, enhance or to improve the trustability and the incentive of the underlying protocols of the internet. Got it. And this is your first blockchain ICO project, or have you worked on ICOs before? Uh, this is my first uh, ICO project. Well, wow, okay. And could you tell us a few words about your team that's working on the project? Uh, sure. <laughs> uh, so actually, our team has a very long story because we are uh, basically a group of academic people who have been doing research in the internet technology field for about 10 years. And me, myself, I... <laughs> Uh, sorry, a little cough. Mm, me, myself, as a, uh, I did my <coughs> PhD program in Tsinghua University, Computer Science and Technology Department. And later, I uh, went to Princeton University as a visit- visiting scholar. And I lived in Princeton for one and a half year. And later, I did my postdoctor program in the Hong Kong Polytechnic University. And now I'm an assistant professor in Tsinghua University, Computer Science and Technology Department. And uh, the core members of our team basically have the similar background like me, because they are basically my roommates when we were graduates, and my classmates when we were (laughs) PhD students, and our research colleagues. So uh, we have been studying the internet technology, basically the future internet technology for about 10 years. And in 2006, we started to seriously study the blockchain technology. And for after one year's research, we found that it's a very good idea to combine the advantages of blockchain technology with the future internet technology to make the internet better. Oh, got it. And do you use any third parties for maybe some legal issues, marketing? Uh, third parties? Yeah, like third party companies. Ah, uh, so we do have an incubator that is uh, Genesis Capital and uh, Inner Andrew uh, Capital. Uh, who are incubating us and they provide uh, marketing uh, supports and uh, ICO supports for us. And uh, basically ourselves are technical people. So uh, we uh, collaborate with them to do the ICO product. Got it. And the next question. Uh, oh, sorry. sorry, I do need to mention that Beyond the incubation, we do uh, collaborate with a number of uh, global collaborators like uh, uh, venture capitals and community managers and like uh, uh, marketing uh, companies. So we do uh, want to uh, uh, impress our sincere appreciation for them. Thank you. Well, who do you think your project is made for? What would be your potential clients or audience? Uh, our potential uh, clients? So uh, that's a very good question. So currently the internet is not very good for supporting future uh, usage like uh, blockchain technologies and IoT uh, technologies and dynamic scenarios. So our future clients will be uh, basically uh, public chains or other 
blockchain technologies and IoT uh, businesses and uh, dynamic scenarios like moving cars, moving trains, and the internet access in uh, planes or other dynamic scenarios. And do you have any competitors on the market, similar companies, and what would be your advantages over them? Uh, currently, we do not see very similar uh, technologies or uh, solutions in this layer because we believe we are the top tier team in this field for the underlying underlying uh, protocol level uh, solution. But we uh, do have a lot of collaborators of other uh, blockchain technologies like Waves, like WTC, and for ending reasons we can't say their names now. But uh, you, uh, the audience or the world will eventually know a lot of uh, public chains are and will collaborate with us. Okay, and let's talk about the ICO now. What's your hard cap and soft cap? How much money do you want to raise and why is this particular sum? Uh, thank you. Uh, we have uh, finished our, uh, we have closed our seed round and private seed round. For the seed round, our valuation of the project is uh, uh, 50 million US dollars, five zero, and we raised uh, 2 million US dollars for seed round. And for private sale, the valuation of the project is 80 million US dollars, eight zero, and we raised 12 million US dollars. And for a potential uh, public sale, it might be around 1 million US dollars. And for, so for the total amount of uh, fundraising is a 15 million US dollars, that is one five million US dollars. I got it. Let's talk about your token now a little. What would be the benefits for token holders? Uh, sure. So two perspectives for holding the uh, tokens for service providers. They can uh, provide services to the internet because we do not want them to provide fake uh, services. Uh, so uh, <laughs> they must deposit tokens before they can provide services to the network. And for service users, they can use our tokens to uh, buy or purchase services from the network. This is one uh, advantage. And another is that we believe that for such a kind of uh, important underlayer solution in the internet, uh, there are a lot of uh, companies and uh, ecosystems will need it. And so if you hold token, the price will go higher, higher, higher. So you also earn benefits from that. Right. And investors from what countries would you like to attract? Uh, investors? Uh, so because uh, we are uh, trying to make the internet better, and internet, that means uh, interconnecting all the people of the world. So we do want uh, people all over the world to join us. And currently, uh, for our private sale round, we have attracted about 100 uh, investors from uh, 19 countries in the world. Wow. OK, and what are the risk factors? Uh, are there any obstacles that can lead to success of the project? Ah, so this is a very good question. And we believe that uh, our technology and the theory is matured, so there is no risk or not so much risk in the technical side. Another potential risk might be the policies or regulations into the crypto world in the coming half or one year. So uh, if the policies or regulations are really bad, it might harm or uh, the project. Uh, so that is a potential risk but we can't control it. It depends on the uh, policies of uh, different countries. Yeah, but what happens if the particular sum is not raised? Will the project will still be implemented? Will it launch? Uh, uh, it's under development, and we have uh, published a small portion of the co of a code in our public repository, and we have a uh, MVP for service-centric networking. It is not public now, but we have invented a 
uh, some uh, uh, worldwide well-known uh, companies to review the code, and they will issue their uh, reviews and articles uh, in the near future. Uh, and for the whole test bed, we are going to release the by Q2 next year. Got it. And the next, uh, sorry, <laughs> the next question is: What is your vision of the ICO market as a whole in general in the future? I believe it's a very uh, good potential to develop ICO in the future because I do believe it's a very good combination combination of uh, of finance and technology and uh, uh, basically advanced technology and it's a really an innovation to the humankind and despite uh, there are some uh, uh, regulations or policies that is not good for uh, ICO, I believe eventually uh, it will go to a, a straightforward way or be well uh, started by the all the countries. And I really believe in the future, in the good future of uh, this field. Thank you. And to sum up our last usual question, why people should invest in block cloud? Oh, oh this is a very good question. So we believe uh, connections makes people happy and block cloud is uh, uh, make, uh, so sorry, uh, I was to say this. So uh, connections make people happy and block cloud is making better connections because we are making the internet better. So uh, uh, we believe we can make people happy by providing a better internet. So if you believe in this, you should invest us. Thank you very much. And thank you for this amazing interview and for joining us today. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. And to remind you, today my guest was Chief Executive Officer of Block Cloud. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, icotalk.tv, to watch more interesting videos. Bye-bye.